Brian, what's going on with AEW Fight Forever right now? Well, my boy, if you do want an actual answer. <laughs> so, um, I've made it very clear, bro. I'm not a fan of what they're doing. And they hide in that price tag for a reason. They do it every mm. drop. They hide that price tag till the last day when that content drops. And I'm not a fan of that, bro. So, um, I don't know, man. I must say, though, and I'm going to give them props because it's due. The arena does look fire. I like the looks arena. Yeah, the screenshot looks, awesome. looks fire. It looks, it looks really good. It looks really nice. Um, but we need match types. There's a whole lot of stuff they got to worry about. Match types, modes, all types of stuff before before they can even get to where we want them to be at. I, I know that this seems like it's a it's the same conversation every week, and we've been doing this podcast for the past four months now. So that just tells you that the game is not in a good spot. So that's just how I feel about it. Yeah, definitely can't argue with that. But Loaded, uh, what do you think? What's going on with AEW Fight Forever? Is this, in fact, Season 3? Or do you think they're just giving us something to hold us off until we get there? Well, Evil Uno on his Twitch streams gave us a sneak peek of it. And he said Season 3. Unless mm -hmm. he was wrong. I don't think he was. <laughs> so, and usually they, they drop a patch before they release a character. So. I mean, I know why they, they're afraid of someone leaking it. Someone's going to leak not it. Be named. Uh, uh, <laughs> someone's going to leak it online, but I, man, I don't care if he leaks it. So, I mean, I would like to know what they're going to add to season three. I don't know why they're hiding it. But, but Zaidi. Just, just to touch yeah. on what you said about the leak before you move on is wasn't this Beach Arena, though, part of the season two leak, which may be why they're not calling the season three yet? Because there was words of code just under beach in that season two leak and they didn't know what it meant and they think it means this so this may be part of what was supposed to be with season two i don't know but i just wanted to get your feedback on that they i think this is season three i think it's season three they tried to put it in season two but they could have they couldn't get it get it done in time so is, i think this is season three they're just terrible at marketing AEW games nice. but the arena looks good I'm excited for Swerve, but I want more match types. Uh, we need to have longer matches. We need game modes that have that have replay value that you can play more than once, that you can play every day for hours in a day. We need all that. So they they're hiding the price tag for a reason. I don't know what they're doing, man. They they got to <laughs> add matches or this game or this season is a bust, man. They have to. They have to at least add one match. Let it be a cage. That was leaked in the files. Let it be a cage match. At least add one match. But I do think that, yeah, the beach was supposed to be in season two. But yeah, it's they're, a adding, good sign it, they're adding it to season three. So yeah, it's a good sign because if he saw something about the beach in season two that they didn't get finished or get added in in time, you know what? Maybe that was, hmm, maybe there's something to that. But maybe uh, if the beach was in there and he found it, he did say he found like footprints for a cage match. So it may be just, may, just maybe coming this season. I'm glad. And Zadi did say something as well. He said that these things had to be in the game at least like five months before it could come out. So it needs, like, it needs five weeks of submission. Five weeks and of submission. And so plus one to two months of, of dev time. Okay. So three, four months of just to get all that in the game. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Well, interesting. Interesting. Kiro Valentine. What's going on with Fight Forever? Is this season three, or do you think this is kind of like a holdover to get something out before WWE 2K24 launches? Well, I think for all intents and purposes, this looks like season three. When you look at what they did for season one and two, this just seems really par for the course. And as, a, as the only person who has Valentine in their channel name, I do not approve of this in Valentine's Day. I wanted something bigger, something better, something more romantic, something that I will remember. Now, I love Swerve. I love the new beat arena. Those are great additions. But like everybody else has just said, uh, they're not enough. The wound is too big and it's not even like a properly big bandaid to shut the wound off right now. It's it's we need substantial updates. Um, honestly, instead of season three, I would just love an update that fixes the gameplay further and uh, like makes the matches longer, like uh, Loaded yeah. said. So um, I think this is season three. Uh, I don't see the, with the way they've been doing everything, them changing their strategy. Maybe one thing we will see change is that they will finally 
kind of listen to the feedback that we gave because now apparently like they already did all the stuff that they planned and now they're able to look at what we said and so hopefully that's true and hopefully we do get stuff that we prefer but you know this is not a great start man this is not a great valentine's day gift i just gotta say that and yeah as for the marketing when you guys talked about it all i was imagining is like there's probably some i don't know like chimpanzees just running around in the marketing room and they sometimes like step on the keyboard and publish like a you know tweet randomly i feel like that's how it's run in uh in the marketing department man but yeah <laughs> yeah yeah why oh my god the finisher friday man yeah <laughs> I think it would have been a great strategy to show us Swerve's finisher on Finisher Friday. Yes. Since he's coming out this week, but no. Let's I just use a like random I think showing free. that the day of, probably. Yeah. Probably. Uh, Which, I mean, they should show that before it comes up, but whatever. All right. Yeah. Well, the man with Valentine and his birthday does not agree with it. Let's go. Oh, I just, I just threw, just blew the whole load. I do it the man with Valentine oh. and his name does not agree with it. <laughs> what about the man who was born on Valentine's Day? Omer Q, what do you think about all of this Ooh. stuff? How do you, what do you think about the way AEW's first game came out? Because I know you kind of jumped out of there as soon as you got in based on everything. Yeah, no, uh, I was really excited when it first came in and I was like, oh, hell yeah, a wrestling game I can pick up, play, fantastic. And then like my month or two later, I was just like, okay, this is redundant. Uh, there's no been no updates. Like AEW says they're very invested in this game. But, I mean, I'm sure they are long-term, but, I mean, right now, I mean, it just is not coming across that way. And I think Kara brings up a very interesting point about, like, the marketing. Like, like I know it was, like, a joke about chimpanzees in the marketing room. But, like, you bring up a good point, and I think this is, like, one of the issues that AEW has, like, as a whole in their, in their marketing in general. Like, across the board, it's always last minute, and it's always, like, they're trying to catch up like you know with with the momentum like it's always like man this is probably something we should have done three days ago so like okay let's just get it all out and like to like a quote from kenny blow our load <laughs> like and, like the day before dynamite they do it like literally it's when they announce all their matches for dynamite for collision like it's like same thing and you know like from the vibes i'm getting about like this game it seems like a similar situation here where you're just like, why don't you build a little bit more anticipation? You know, like releasing the Swerve, um, you know, model or re releasing that that screenshot of Swerve that, you know, the tribute to the troops like set. <laughs> like that's great, but um, that's what I thought when I first saw it. I was like, oh, they're in a rock. Um, but, <laughs> but you know, I mean, like overall, I'm just like the and again, someone who works in like marketing, I'm just like, man, like you gotta like plan it out a bit more and be a little bit more thoughtful about it and i hope with AEW going through you know they were going through some growing pains they're bringing on more people hopefully that changes in the long term but we'll see we'll see clint what do you think about it are you i know you're excited to pick up aew five forever season three <laughs> tell us about oh, your excitement absolutely i will not get any sleep tonight i'm going to be like <laughs> waiting for that refreshing my playstation every five seconds to see if it loads <laughs> it's on there but no nah, honestly uh since since the seasons have such a negative thing about them maybe they're trying to stay away from that narrative of seasons yeah and they're just going to post mm. like wrestlers as they go and who knows maybe the arena is free and you're just paying for swerve that would be a good step Ooh. in the right direction but yeah. there's no way it's going to happen. They're definitely going to charge for the arena. So yeah, I, I can see Dub shaking his head like, no. Nah, nah, <laughs> hey, they could make nah. it look like that, though. They could put them in a yeah. package and make it look like you're paying for just a wrestler. So, Right? I mean, I said this, I think, on one of the last podcasts when we talked about this, where they should just charge for the wrestlers. Everything else mm -hmm. should just be included. I like agree. modes, matches, all that stuff. Yeah. That way you get people to come back, and then if they want a new wrestler to play in the new modes, you just pay for the wrestler. Like fighting games do, yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, so I, eh, I don't. I think they're going to stay away from the season three narrative unless they announce it tomorrow, and then, well, <laughs> jokes on me. <laughs> yeah, we'll know though, uh, because that's a good point. Um, Loaded brought up they did not put a patch out before they um, dropped this update, so I think they're trying to hide whatever they got. If they put that patch out tomorrow and we get everything in there, like Lynch goes in, well, yep. a modder <laughs> goes in and finds different <laughs> things, then. 
We'll know. I think we'll know what to expect tomorrow. Do you have anything else to add to that? No, that's about it. All right. What about you, Mr. Dubs? What do you think? It's going to be the greatest DLC we've ever seen. I'll <laughs> say I played this DLC. I played it, and it was the greatest thing that yeah. I've ever played in my life. No, this, <laughs> this, 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 I've said it from day one. Wrestlers aren't doing anything for me. And the fact that these DLCs are costing last season, we got, what, three wrestlers for 30 bucks? Was that was that how $25. much was it? Twenty or thirty? Twenty five dollars. I don't even know. Twenty five twenty five dollars for three wrestlers. Ooh, so for the whole season pass. How much was Fight Forever at launch? Was it fifty or sixty bucks? Sixty. It was full price, fifty nine ninety nine. Okay, yeah, at so least it didn't go bucks. seven. So for <laughs> less than for less than three seasons, and if you're getting three wrestlers a season, like that's nine wrestlers versus the price of a whole new game. Just cut it. Cut it. Kill it. Drop a new game in 2027. I want at least 100 wrestlers for my $60 you want to take from me. 2027? No. Ugh. I think they could do 2026, 2025. Not, not if you want a good game. Have you seen what, how long this game took to develop? And what Well, they already got the engine game? now. They had to build the engine. Exactly. Now they can yeah, build I agree with you. And so go away for that much time. Or just stop with this nonsense of charging. Like, they ch not charging for this Beach Break Arena. They charged for the updated Dynamite Arena. That was yep. the Dynamite Arena when the game launched. Boy, oh boy. And the game mode. And the game mode. They're charging you for a guy who should have been in the base game. Their current champion isn't in the game. He might be part of this pack. Now they're going to be able to listen to feedback we gave them. Great. Take that feedback, shine it up real nice, oh. turn it sideways, <laughs> and bring it to us in the next game. Yeah, oh, okay. that was about the Lions chicken nuggets. Because yeah, I was going to say, not, wait for the chicken nuggets. No, it was going bad. Getting, no matter what DLC you drop on us, there's a certain fragmented player base that'll never come back to this game, no matter what you do to it. That is just the reality of the sour taste. You have you didn't hit the ground running. You left a sour taste. You're better off bringing a new game. But if you don't do that, then they need to do giant annual expansions like a live service game, all live service games do. You get your season passes to get you through the year, and you have a giant drop every year. So if you want to do these packs, I would say throw wrestlers out there. You want to throw them 5 bucks a piece, 10 bucks a piece, that's on you. Everything else, updates should be coming through the year for free. Creation parts, creation suite, everything. Single player experience. And then once a year, we get a whole new single player campaign with 20 oh, wrestlers, man. a whole bunch of creation parts. That's your annual expansion. And then you charge for everything up to that point and the annual expansion. 60 bucks or 40 bucks just for the annual expansion for players who already have everything. Right. And then you get everything for the price of a new game. <laughs> that's that's yeah. what Destiny does. They've been around for 10 years. It's what World of Warcraft does. It's what MMOs do. It's, do, it's what any sort of live service game does. That is, they drop a giant this is annual wrestling. expansion. Yeah, well, they said they want to go with a live service model. Wrestling has never done that. So if they actually are a live service model, prove it to me. Give me a giant annual expansion or shut your mouth. Annual expansion. Get over this game and bring us a new one.